Welcome guys, and please remember to ask your questions. This is a very important topic. If you want to follow along, please open the project file motionpath-start.aep. In this project, please double click on Spatial Interpolation Composition to open it so we can start working. In this lecture, I want to explore with you the spatial interpolation, and it's very interesting. It will allow you to create, you know, very interesting motion path. Cool. Let's take this one down to make it bigger, and uh, let's select a keyframe, all, all the keyframes. To select all the keyframes, you can just click on the position, it will select them all. Now, let's go back to the beginning, and right-click on one of the keyframes that is selected. Okay, you have here keyframe interpolation. It means this is how you are going to interpret the keyframes. Now notice we are in linear now and you have really straight corners or you know sharp corners here. But when you go to keyframe interpolation, you have the option in spatial interpolation to change from linear to Bezier to continuous Bezier and auto Bezier. For example, let's choose Bezier here. So we are changing the spatial interpolation to Bezier. We have selected all our keyframes, so we expect a change in all the keyframes. Here you are. Notice what happened. First of all, the graph has been smoothed, quite smoothed, in fact, very nice. So you don't have these sharp corners here. And the motion is quite nice. Now notice nothing has changed in the timeline. Temporarily speaking, in the time, nothing changed. So what are these handles here? In the Bezier, these handles are broken. They are independent. They will allow you to create a motion path or change your motion path the way you would like. Here you are. So pretty interesting, right? So you have a ball or a character or whatever you want. You can design how the motion path is gonna go. I will click out and play. Notice what's happening. Cool. Let's see it with the motion path now. That's how the circle is moving according to the Bezier path. Let's stop the animation. Right click on the keyframe, any of them that's selected. Go to keyframe interpolation. And from Bezier, let's take continuous Bezier. And I click OK. Now notice the whole graph has changed. It's back to being very smooth. Okay, You practically changed the interpretation of the keyframe. The handles here are connected, meaning they will always stay in one single line. And they are always parallel or tangent, if you like, on the motion path. Now, notice here, it's a bit harder maybe to work, but you also avoid, you know, sharp angles. And you can make, for example, things like this, you notice. So if I go very far, the influence on the other bar will be less. If I go very near, the influence will be very strong. You notice when the bar is small, the influence on the other side of the keyframe is very hard. And when it is very long, the influence on the other keyframe is less. Here you are. Pretty nice, by the way. Okay, so now let's design a motion path that is interesting. Okay, you know what's happening. It's not going to be easy the first time, but I'm sure you are going to get used to it. Okay, here you are. And let's play. Pretty cool. Let's deselect. And you notice your ball. I mean, it's amazing to put now some blur and notice what's happening. Cool. Let's remove the blur. And now let's select again the, all the keyframes and try the next one in keyframe interpolation. Spatial. You can go now to Auto Bezier. Well, Auto Bezier actually is the default. Uh, when you do easy is, we'll see that later, it starts with auto Bezier. Well, you see, you cannot see the handles here. The truth is, it has smoothened the path, but as soon as you change the handles here, you play with them, they go back to continuous Bezier. Okay, guys, here you are. As simple as this. But if you leave it the way it is, it's very nice, it's auto Bezier. Now, this is the default mode when you easy is. Let's play this animation, and you notice that you have a nice path. Just to draw to your attention, you have changed nothing in the timeline in terms of time. It's only in space. And this is spatial interpolation. Pretty cool. Go to After Effects, guys. Get a board somewhere. Try to play with the path. Try to do something amusing. But in the next lecture, you will learn about temporal interpolation. And you will be able even to manipulate much more your motion path. See you then.